So this week is is all about you know us as a team just getting closer together. Obviously, you know we're training hard and working hard towards that Wales game um, that's around the corner. We want to sort of continue that momentum from the Italy win, but. You know, it's important for us without that game at the weekend just to focus on ourselves as a group, um, build some strong connections off the field. We went over to see Tom Kerridge and he, he taught us a thing or two in the kitchen um, about chefing. We sort of split into teams and then um, had to cook three meals, a starter, main and dessert, which was interesting. I think my group was actually one of the uh, Karma kitchens, but there was a, a lot of noise coming from down the corridor. Uh, we selected a good team on uh temperament, there's no hot heads in the room, so we're going nice and calmly. Everything looks like it's going to plan. Don't get nervous. Um, yeah. Don't get a bit shaky. Don't get a bit shaky. Stay we are staying calm. Look at Nolsey, look. He's a calm and head. He's an influence. Garlic butter. 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 <laughs> um, I saw a photo on WhatsApp of the boys, about 10 of them, uh, in a lift. So they'd obviously been stuck in there and I think they were in there for about an hour, bless them, sweating. So uh, that was an experience for them, but I imagine they got quite a lot out of that in terms of bonding and connecting. <laughs> Yeah, we've got your shirt to say, obviously, oh. sorry, but thank you. <laughs> 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 thank you very much. Thank you very much. Space Oh, was it? Nearly. None of us were trapped with very limited supplies of oxygen and rising temperatures in a very confined space in a in a lift shaft, um, but apparently it's uh, not an emergency. So it's a bit gutting, because uh, it felt like an emergency to me. The lift said 1,000 kilograms, 13 persons. We were roughly 1,000 kilograms of nine people. So we were within the guidelines. quite a few new exercises that we do here that I'm not familiar with from working back at Leicester so um, I think it was something simple like I was just trying to use the straps for our, our drum chin chest and we're doing and I've, I've never used straps before so yeah you also were just giving me little pointers and then loads of little stuff in the gym that um, the lads are just trying to help me out with really that, um, that all go that extra you know that extra way to making me a better player. The art of the jump truck. Uh, what's the uh, it's your, use your big muscles, use your ass, use your big muscles. We don't have a lot of time in the gym, for example, and um, you know it could it'd be so easy for them just to crack on with what they're doing and and try and get all their stuff. But for them to you know come across and take time out of their gym schedule to to help me is you know it makes it's really good. You've got the best of the best in England in this camp and you know there's so many brains to pick from and so many experienced heads but then also lads like Freddie who are a similar age to me but obviously he's had that experience of a few more caps than I have so the lads here are great, they've helped me settle in really well and uh, it's just a great environment to learn in and obviously you get the benefit of working with coaches like Eddie, he's one of the best in the world. So. He's been unbelievable, you know, he, he was not expecting to, to be in camp and when he got that, um, got that call he was, he was on cloud nine and rightly so, he, he's deserved it, he's, he's a top bloke off the field, um, one, of my, one of my best mates and I spend a lot of time with him outside the club um, and on the field, you know, he's a guy who just works and works and works and he's someone who you trust, he's someone who you can have a laugh with when you need to. Um, but he also works unbelievably hard for everyone around him. He's, he's very selfless and he, he deserves the opportunity and he, he smashed it at the weekend. I'm so proud of him.
when you first come into camp, it's, it's quite a daunting experience. I remember being very, very nervous and I still do get nervous, but it's just when you first come into a camp, you don't want to come across, you know, too overconfident. You know, I probably held back quite a bit when I first came in, just not, not wanting to, to come across that way, but been a brilliant environment in the sense that everyone's got a voice. You just talked about having a mindset to go at them, so there are a couple of bits where we're probably been. We have a thing called Triple H, which is where um, each week one of us will talk about um, our hero, a hardship that we've experienced, and then a highlight in our life. And that's a brilliant opportunity for, for us boys to sort of open up, because I think when you talk about those things that are so personal, you connect on that deeper level. And I think that's really important, you know, when. When you run out and you're battling for guys at the weekend on the same team, knowing them that little bit better and, and being closer, you just you just fight even harder. And I think the closer we get as a team now, you know, the, the better we play on the field. I think the the experiences have, have just been massively important, not only developing me as a rugby player, but as a person as well. You know, when you spend a lot of time away in camp, it's it's brilliant in terms of meeting new people and, and making new friendships and, and maturing. And I, I've really enjoyed that experience and you know, playing at that international level. There's just such a big opportunity to learn and get better. And the coaches we have here, the resources, the, the other players, um, it's incredible just to be around it all and, and absorb it all. Dance, mate. Five, ten, ten, ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Silent. 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 Happy birthday, you dance. Oh, yeah. Nothing's okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. No, you thought you were Let's go, Yuzi. Shut up. to have the afternoon off so we went into London, uh, went with a couple of the boys, we went to Oxford Street, had a look around the shops there. It's nice just to get out, you know, it's a, it's a long campaign so it, it's nice to, you know, when you get the opportunity for an afternoon off to, to go and have a wander around. <laughs> Uh, 
we've just got a date tomorrow, so we just want to get him sorted out. And then we're thinking fresh lines, clean lines, yeah. angles roughly around 90 degrees. I don't know if you know, but he's only Bang. 21. He's only 21. <laughs> It's not like the worst, man. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yes. Today has been a shopping experience evening. I had a head massage with some aromas spray. Head massage, facial, haircuts, all sorts yeah, of Yeah, a few fun. boys had a few trims actually. Downstairs. Um, they looked alright to be fair. But we're just chilling in, in bed. Johnny, are your feet off the end of the bed? Yeah, they're off the end, bro, yeah. <laughs> Mine are nowhere near. There you go. Wait on, is it recording? Uh, big training session ahead this morning. Storm Eunice is rife outside, which is exciting. Um, so that means training should be fun. Uh, we've got Ches here with me. How are you feeling, Ches, about training? Yeah, good, mate. Storm Eunice, let's have it. We'll see you after training. Big oh, on, get it. Get it. Yes. Yes. Training here it is intense and, and it's really tough, but that's all part of being an England player and, and being able to wear that shirt is that you've got to be ready for international rugby. And that's what the training here does. It prepares you beyond the game to, to make sure that come the weekend we're ready to go. They're gonna come out five minutes, so we prepared that match in here. It's a really good camp, boys. Well done, mate. So just recover all that quick squad meeting, you'll be out here by 12. Back out. Two days off. Then we're in the miles, eh? Hey? <laughs> 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 oh, the wind was like in my eyes, like he's just trying to get me. Out to get me all the time. Mitigation, though, was going down. Point! 